I'll be the first to admit I'm fairly easily impressed, but this made me go, bro. I was watching Gregor do a presentation. It's on our channel recently. He was doing a live presentation at a workshop talking about mixing and mastering, and he showed this feature pretty quickly. And then he showed it to me after our live stream that we did. And it just, it made me go, bro, that's super cool. I must have known about it, but I must have forgotten about it. So here we are, you and me, remembering this thing together. Check it out. We're in Studio One. This is a song. I'm going to press F7, open up the window where I find my plugins. This is the effects window. It's a browse window, but this is specifically the effects. I'm hanging out. This is where I go grab all my effects. If you scroll all the way up, you'll notice there are folders here that you probably don't pay much attention to. Effects chains, that's useful. Mix effects, event editors, track presets. You're probably like, I don't know what these do. Check out track, tr track tree sets. <laughs> Check out track presets for just a second. Open it up, there's some folders here. We got some pre-made ones for you. That's all well and good. Uh, apparently I made one for this song, Can't Not Let Go which was a year or more ago, two years ago. I don't know. I must have known about it then, but I forgot. Check this out. I'm inside this song. This song is finished. I've done all the mixing. It's good to go. I've got, in case you're not familiar, the blue tracks up here are my drums, and I do everything through folder tracks. So the drums are here, but they're actually all packed into this little folder. And let me just actually make this even easier to look at. Let's get rid of everything but the drums. So here's my drums, and if I fold... Close up the folder, all the tracks go, they get sucked inside. Um, nice visual, uh, so I can keep them together. This also is connected to the drum bus. So if I turn this off, it's just a folder. If I come in here and I click on my drums bus, or I go to create a bus from this folder, now you can see there's a volume fader here. This is now, whoops, let's add it back. This is now acting like a bus as well. So when I come in here and look at my mixer, I can see the same folder here. I can open and close. This is my drum bus. This is my drum folder. Anyway, that's beside the point. Folders are super useful, way more useful. If you had asked me 10 years ago, what do you think about folders? Would you want them in Studio One? I can't remember when they came out. I would have said, nah, I'm good. I kind of can't live without them now. And I've done a video on what makes them great. So go search our channel for folder tracks. They, it seems boring. Like I'm not going to watch a video about folders, Joe. Uh, I think you will because it's really cool what they do. They're kind of like automagical little tools. Anyway, inside of this folder, I've got several tracks. And on those tracks, I've done lots of mixing. I've got a couple of tracks on my drum bus, a couple of, of plugins. I've got some EQs in here. I'm using Tricomp on this fat track that I recorded. Not crazy, but I've got faders panning and plugins for this drum mix. And I like this drum mix. Maybe I want to save this and come back to it later. What options do I have for doing that? Really, the only option you have is to save each one. Like come in here and say, okay, I'm going to save these settings for this sub kick track. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go scroll down and I say, store this as an effects chain. And that's going to store the specific settings on this specific channel as an effects chain that I could name Subkick. That's fine. That's great if you want to save the chain for a vocal chain that you want to run back to. But what I, what I want to do is save like everything I did across this entire drum mix, including even like the trim knobs at the top, the fader levels, the panning, multiple plugins, what's happening on the bus. Could I do all of that? Is that possible? Yeah, it's called track presets. So check it out. I've got the track presets folder open on the right. I just come up here. I click on this drum track, the drum bus, the drum folder. Check this. I'm dragging it. It says move track. I just keep dragging until I hold it over drum presets, track presets. I can't even get the words right. And I just let go. Check that out. It says drums. Now you may be thinking, what did I just do? Well, let's, uh, let's find out. Let's get out of here. I'm not even going to save that because I just messed up that whole mix. And let's make a brand new, brand new song. Completely brand new, nothing in it. Now, over here, we can see this is now saved as something. And we can actually see, looking at it, it's got a folder track and eight audio tracks. That tells us something about it. Look what happens when I drag this in. Bro. Bro, look at this. Okay, what just happened? It brought in everything about those tracks except the actual tracks themselves. So now I could literally set up the drums with the mics plugged into these same channels and then just go. Like, 
all the levels, check out the fader levels are right, the panning is right, all the plugins are right. It doesn't currently, this didn't save the automation, which is pretty helpful because when you start a new song, you kind of want to start over with automation because your automation is going to be in different points because it's a different tempo. That makes sense to me. I don't feel dis 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 disappointed. I don't feel sad about that. Um, but it didn't bring in the audio because that's not super useful either, right? This is basically a way to like a... If you think of using a full template that has all of this information in place, this is a way to just save chunks of it together. So we could do one of these for drums, for guitars, for background vocals, and you could just have it sitting here and you just drag it in when you need it. That is super helpful for some somebody watching this just had a big aha moment. Go incorporate this into your workflow. See how you like it. Track presets for the win.